Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. All right, look who is with us this morning. We are in for a treat. We've got Chef Melody here, Melody Shamam, and she has given us basically a kind of a, a way to twist and a, a tweak, if you might, some, some of, of the, the classic, classic dishes. holiday dishes exactly. for us this morning. Okay. By the way, this smells <laughs> phenomenal. What do we Thank have going you. on I'm this super morning? excited for the holidays. I'm going to start out by showing you how to make chipino. It's a little bit different than the classic chipino. Fewer spices. It's got a little bit more of a thicker consistency. It's super delicious and easy to make for the holidays. Can you see this? So right now, Alan? Look at I've this. sauteed fennel, onions, and shallots in here and some olive oil. I put some salt in there. I started that up, and now I'm going to put lots of garlic and red pepper flakes. This is going to give it a kick. Just enough of a kick, actually. This is a giant bowl, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That's just for a serious You need chef it for this right chipino, there. and it makes a nice presentation as well. And then what I'm going to do is add in some tomato paste. Look at that. This is going to create the thickness. Just saute that around a little bit. Okay. Get that moving. And how and much did we're you gonna put, put of that in, in there? Was that like a couple of the little ones? About 15 ounces. 15 ounces. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to put in some of the diced tomatoes and juice. Ooh. Oops. Spilled All the best there. chefs spill. I've yep. noticed that. Like and you don't want to use fresh in this dish because you want the sweeter tomatoes. Oh, look at there. I like to promote using fresh ingredients, but for this one, this is required. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stir that up, and then I'm going to put in some fish stock. This I buy frozen from Harvest Ranch, Jonathan Markets. They make it with a halibut, mm. and it's super delicious. It's the only one I use, and I highly recommend it. Okay, now and I'm lastly, understanding we're why you have such done. a big bowl. We're almost done. We're putting in some Pinot Grigio in here. You can use another dry white wine. Putting that in there. And last, just some bay leaves. You stir that up, bring it to a boil, and let it simmer for a while. The longer it simmers, the more delicious it's going to taste. And right here, I have some already Oh, the finished simmering. product. Yep. You just bring it up for a higher temperature. And right here, I have some of my favorite seafood. All you do is you just add it in. What and after that? a few minutes, I just have shrimps, medley? scallops, halibut, and sea bass. Mm. I put in my favorite fish. You can use sh um, shellfish, anything you prefer. After a few minutes, it's done, and it's ready to serve. So, so we're going to cover long, that up. How long uh, do you cook it total, the whole thing? You need an hour, but you, okay. can, you can cook it longer. You can simmer it longer. But once you put the fish in, just a few minutes, and, and you're, you're good. completely done with that. Awesome. And um, this is a little bit different. So usually chipino is served with some baguette. I spread this roasted red pepper puree. It's made with roasted red peppers, cayenne, garlic, and a little mayo. Super delicious, and it gives it such a nice kick. I'm flipping out right now. This looks like a fancy restaurant it's dish right here. It's just absolutely delicious. It's so easy to put together. Anybody could do it. And what did you what did you put in there? Um, red peppers, cayenne, garlic, and, and a little garlic. mayo. Okay, all in perfect. a food processor. This is a beautiful holiday salad. I just put some uh, pieces of butter lettuce, and you can create like a nice little yeah. wreath. And over here, I put the inside of my butter lettuce. And I mix it with some um, spinach and radicchio. Mix it nice and pretty. Beautiful. And oranges are in season right now. You can just decorate. Very good. With oranges. And then also in season, pomegranates. Oh, very look at festive. That. Makes such a nice color. And it looks very holiday esque. Yes, yeah, very holiday. Mm -hmm. And then I candied these walnuts here that I'm gonna add on. You could buy pre-made walnuts or make them yourself, super easy. Mozzarella oh, cheese, look at that. Love the mozzarella balls. And I made this delicious cranberry dressing that's so easy to put together right here. Just fresh cranberries in a food processor with balsamic vinegar, mustard, orange, and sugar, and some shallots. That's all you did. Super, super easy. These are things most people already have Absolutely. in their Absolutely. You wouldn't I believe how easy that. it is to put together, and you have this delicious, tangy, perfectly sweet cranberry dressing. I love that. And this is the perfect side to go with something like a lamb Absolutely. or something like that? Absolutely. So I have a standing rib roast here perfect for the holidays super elegant I made a horseradish sauce here this one has some chives and some lemon zest in it for a kick and right over here I have a mushroom wine sauce which I use a Cabernet right here and some Madeira wine that I also got from Harvest Ranch everything here is available at those stores I love it and wait what do you do with this is that mushroom for the, yeah you for can the lamb? choose just for the for your guests whether you want a wine sauce or you want horseradish and Different look at flavors. how nicely you've garnished this Thank too you. this is a is this just what this is, is this? Rosemary, rosemary and some currants and then lastly right here I have a holiday wreath cake I used a holiday bunk cake pan just to make it festive inside this cake I've got orange flavors coconut pistachio and fresh cranberries in there 
super, super delicious. Get and a little bit out. of coconut, too, for, for some more sweetness. Oh, Melody, this is so awesome. If people Thank want to you. contact you if they want more information on these recipes, we put it yes. on our website, fox5sandigo.com. You can go there and click on the Scene on tab. I was telling you earlier, Raul, I have to tell you, I've made now four of Melody's recipes, and my husband loves you. Seriously. That's so good to hear. Delicious, delicious stuff. You always have something new That's and exciting. That's my motive. I want people to cook at home, cook healthy, cook delicious. Yeah, my so husband's a huge <laughs> fan of yours because we've Thank done quite you. a few recipes. So listen, Thank coming you. up in just a little while, the wine guy's going to be back. He's going to tell us what wine to pair mm. with all this deliciousness. So Raul, guess what? You don't have the wine guy all to yourself. <laughs> I'm going to stick around for that. We're sticking around. We got the wine guy coming back. I agreed to share the wine guy with you. Will is okay with it. Just this one.